Hello, hello. I'm very excited to show you guys. I made another Tim Holtz journal. Yay! It's so cute, huh? Here are some little Tim Holtz charms, little Tim Holtz connector thing, a Suprema flowers, and this was all cut off of like a Tim Holtz fabric, a doll, and this is also fabric cut from a fabric. I stamped on this like doily, and we have all this lace and stuff that I got from Lisa's shop. Right, some tickets and um, a bird and then a place to like write and then we've got this cute little thing right here isn't that so cute anyway I've made this journal for Tommy because she has been so sweet and she made my sister a journal and she has sent us soap and always happy mail and just all the things and I actually won a journal from her, like a Christmas one from like her channel or whatever. And so I have two journals from her and I was like, you know, I need, I need to send her a journal, right? Like I need to send her one. So I made her a journal and here it is. So I'm going to show it off real quick. Dum -da -dum. It opens and on the inside, right, we have my library card thing that I like to put on the inside pocket. See, library card. I bought that from Cassie and at uh, Cassie's Boutique um, over at the Junk Journal with Joy group. And it's got uh, some Tim Holtz paper on it and just some laces and fabrics along the inside. And then here we have this pocket. It's like a collaged pocket. It's very interesting, isn't it? Um, and we have, I have just this like berry card. It's just like a journaling card. This is like a notebook, right? Like a tearaway notebook with a bunch of different papers, right? With like scrap, lots of scraps, right? I've used a lot of um, like Tim Holtz scraps and scrappy things. I've got, you know, just deco pie. I've got some tape and um, stitching and just all kinds of little interesting things. Moving on, we have this page, which you untie and it opens. It's one of those envelope flips, right? So it's got two pieces of paper for journaling inside. And um, you can write on there as well. And then this is a stuffed pocket filled with tickets and then more journaling space. And then behind we have this, right? And this is taken from the King Arthur book, that like vintage King Arthur book. I just made it a journaling card. And then again, just more journaling coffee dyed paper. Okay, moving on. We have this pretty page I love. I put a Tim Holtz lady on there. Here we have this pretty page, which is like yellow flowers. It says road to somewhere with like daisies and stuff. Right? Some like kind of, I guess this came out of like a gothic kind of paper pad or whatever. Just some different papers for journaling. This came out of that Tim Holtz um, paper, like the, the backdrops, I think. This, right? More journaling, some music paper. Oh, this is cool. Isn't this cool? This is like a French book page, right? It's got like French attire from like back in the day, and it's all written in French, right? It's so cool. Anyway, we have this. It's like an envelope pocket, right? It reveals just a journaling paper. And then on the back, it flips open, right? We have like a little green card flip. This is an altered paper clip, so it can be taken off with the cute little girls on there. It's so cute. And um, a vintage, this is actual vintage like advertising. And so I just glued that on there. And then we have some ephemera. This came from a vintage playbook that Lisa sent me at this theater, and I thought it was so cool, so I had to include it. And then some coffee dyed paper. Is that all that was in there? Oh yeah, that was just the, um, the paper clip. And then here we have this, which is one of our flippy books, right? It flips open and then flips up. Ta-da! Look to the sky, it says. And then this page and a tearaway notebook stuck to the page with different papers in it, right? Um, a cluster, right? Lots of just interesting journaling. Here's the other side to that French page. 
lots of journaling, ledger paper. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Right, lots of journaling. This pocket page. Oh, this even unclips, right? So this unclips with like the black lace and then we can take these out. So this front pocket are these two, this cute little like bookmark and a journaling card. And then in the second pocket, we have a tag, right? Just a tag. And then up here we have a notebook, right? With this guy on him. He is so cool. So there's that, right? And that can be like removed or taken out of the journal or whatever via this clip. I'll just, I guess I'll just clip it on there for now. <laughs> on this side, we have this page. I love this page. And this came from like a Stamperia pad or something. This is another paper clipped page. And it's got like the ribbon belly band that this hangs on. And then there's this. These are both envelopes that I decorated. Right. And it's got little quotes in it and just like ephemera. Isn't that pretty? And a T and a Z. Oh, yes, and it's backed. And I put some stamping on it and stuff. So there's that envelope. Okay, we're not going to mess with that right now. <laughs> Art is where I dream. And then this one, this little coin envelope. Right, and it's got like stickers and stuff. I'll pull them out and show you. We've got a little photo. We've got a vellum tag. What else do we have in here that is a secret, secret goodies, huh? We've got a clock and a planet sticker and a feather sticker. Yay, so those go in the coin envelope. And then I have this decorated page used like using like washi tape and some ink to drip. And I like how that page turned out. And then here's the back page. This is like a journaling. Oh, this came ripped. I'm gonna have to fix this. We'll have to fix this. This is a secret journaling space and I don't know where this came from. Oh, this was probably attached to the page with the, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Anyway, this is supposed to slide out, right? And you can write on here and also write on the back and it ripped a little bit. So I'm gonna have to come in and fix that. Don't know what happened, but yes, it should be like this, right? Anyway, moving on, we have this page. I love this with the washi tape and the picture and the doily and everything, the frame. Here we have the this paper clip. It reveals a notebook, right? And then, and this came out, like some of these pieces came out of like vintage books and stuff, right? This chapter one and this making nowhere somewhere. And then, you know, some Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz ephemera and um, paper and stuff. We have this page with this beautiful girl and she's framed in some lace and a flower. And this opens up. You can write in it. I thought this was such a cute page. I love this page. Anyway, we have this bag and there's stuff in it, right? Just, oh, this is another paint paper. This is uh, alcohol ink and paint, right? pretty bright. It comes out more green on camera, but it is more like a sunflower yellow um, in real life. <laughs> and then we just have it backed with like, um, this is actually that Tim Holtz packaging, right? That like brown Tim Holtz packaging. Lots of journaling, a vintage book page of like the canal, the Gardner Canal, Prince Rupert, BC, I think about the mountains and all that kind of stuff. Uh, a pretty um, alcohol ink dyed doily, some coffee dyed paper. This is pretty, huh? This was sent as a happy mail. Um, I can't remember by who, but isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. It's like coffee dyed polka dot pink. We have this Right, and this was made using uh, some leftover pieces I had from the illuminated flora from Medieval Mirage, the Medieval Mirage digital kit. And inside we have a journal card made from a vintage book uh, illustration. 
just backed onto coffee dyed paper and stitched just some journaling paper. That's what was inside. And on the back, this pocket is stuffed with all kinds of stuff, right? Ephemera and quotes and tickets and all kinds of stuff, right? Okay, so there's that page. Then this flips up like this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. And you can write or put little lists or whatever you want. Here's this back page. It's got like this cool pocket, this like photo pocket thing. And I just put these, I made these little journaling cards out of again, these little Tim Holtz papers backed onto coffee dyed paper. And again, I use a little journaling, um, the little uh, Tim Holtz papers and I made these little flips, right? And this opens, right, for journaling. They all open like that. Right, and then this one opens fully, like this, ta-da, for lots of journaling, and it's pretty. And then here we have a belly band, right, with a beautiful notebook with this gorgeous couple, yay, and it's a full notebook, it's got a bunch of coffee dyed paper with that um, uh, vintage um, music paper I had right with the my favorite things so that some of that paper is in this journal and then and we've got you know it's also we have like lots of Tim Holtz fabrics and stuff uh you know lining a lot of the pages and things we have this belly band where we have this lady flying this balloon we're using the ribbon and the ribbon is a belly band right and it reveals the full balloon and this cool label and stuff um, and we've got a little, like a library card ephemera, this Tim Holtz, this is all Tim Holtz ephemera, right? And that all goes in there like this. Ta-da! More journaling. Right? That book page. Here is a bag, and I glued a um, vintage cookbook page to it, stamped on it, right? And inside we have just this opens up, right, to reveal some journaling. Put some Tim Holtz fabric on it. And then on the back we have coffee dyed paper with like a washi sticker. This cute little tiny belly band and I put some like this little Tim Holtz tag. And this just little journaling piece there like that and then this piece it's got just that Tim Holtz paper on it and we have this this is like the last page right and it's a big side pocket and it's got a bunch of journaling cards in it I love this with the bird on the finger like in front of the moon or whatever and that's just circle punched out of that Tim Holtz like wallpaper kind of paper and I stamped on it and stuff right this one, another just journaling card I stenciled, and then a guest check I, that I just, I stenciled some st Tim Holtz stenciling on it. So there's what's in that pocket. And here's the back page with all the like entomology stuff, right? And the bugs and stuff. Ta-da! And then I have the Lorna's uh, custom stamp written on the back. And I should sign it too. I forgot to do that. I like to do that too. Right, gotta have the signature on there. 2022, ta-da! Yay! So anyway, that is the journal, right? Lots of like Tim Holtz fabrics and stuff. It's like a quilted and stuff. <laughs> it's like a quilted cover. So yay, it's got the Tim Holtz um, little corner ends on it. So I hope she loves it. I loved making it. And I hope you enjoyed um, flipping through it with me. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye!